The final battle between Kenobi and Skywalker, Ben and Vader in A New Hope is an emotional one. It's the end of a friendship, a brotherhood, then a great rivalry. It goes quick, so today I want to take you through the detailed thoughts of Obi-Wan as he remembers this final battle. This will be from the book From a Certain Point of View, and it's inside Obi-Wan's mind immediately after he dies. He recalls the fight. He recalls Anakin. Does he know what I've done? Have all my efforts with Luke been for naught? Why won't he say anything? As motionless as a statue. Nineteen years. Nineteen years since I left him to die. Nineteen years of reliving his corruption every night in my dreams. What does he look like under that mask? What does he see through those ruby lenses? A friend? An enemy? A relic? He appears so calm, so controlled, but I can feel his rage, seething, seething underneath that heartless faceplate. His fury threatens to overwhelm him, just as it always did, but he keeps it in check today. I can't help but be impressed. The Emperor has taught him well. He has taught my former Padawan well. I can only imagine the poison that has spilled from Palpatine's lips since that fateful day on Mustafar. Save all your hatred, my apprentice. Nurture it. Let it empower you. Let it bring you strength, he could hear the Emperor saying. I always knew this day would come. I just didn't know where or when. I certainly never imagined it would be in a place like this. On a planet killer, the like of which the galaxy has never seen. A million voices cry out as one, washing over me, their pain my own. And finally, Vader steps forward to meet me. My own saber ignites, the vibration of the power cell rising up my arm. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. The voice is unrecognizable. How little of my friend is actually left. And another memory assaults me now. A woman, Padme, lying on a bed, her breath shallow. There's good in him, she had said. Did she really believe that, after everything he'd done? If she did, wouldn't she still be here? Wouldn't she have lived? What would she think of him now? No, my friend is dead. Of that, I am certain. The thing in front of me is not Anakin Skywalker. The circle is now complete, he declared, his arrogance the final betrayal. When I left you, I was but the learner. When I left you, Obi-Wan thought, every word is a trigger, dragging me back and forth through the years. I'm standing on a river of molten lava. It's churning below. Is this where you left me, Darth? He thought. Or was it even earlier, when you leapt onto a speeder bike and raced into the night, killing, killing all the sand people? Or when you held your wife, Padme, by the throat? Is that when you left me? I feel my own anger rising, my years of training, of discipline ebbing away. I barely hear what he's saying. Now I am the master. His image flickers like a disrupted hollow feed. One second, he is the armored giant I see before me, the next a charred husk reaching out on the carbonized shore. One face impassive and angular, the other blackened and screaming in agony. Then there are more, joining the fluctuating cycle. A fresh-faced teen, to take up the mantle of Jedi, a spirited slave boy, pulling grime-ridden goggles over innocent eyes, a limbless wreck, hanging over in a Bacta tank, narcotic skin, scarred. I see them all at once now, everything he was, and everything he has become. And I say to him, only a master of evil, Darth. I cannot use his real name. It would undo everything. It would undo me, even after all this time, catching in my throat. The time for talk is at an end. This battle must be decided once and for all. I strike first, her lightsabers flaring as they clash. The sudden illumination draws another shadow of Coruscant, Anakin railing against the wooden sticks I force him to use, rather than the lightsabers. I am not a child anymore, Obi-Wan. Why must we use toys? A child Anakin asked him. You must be patient, my young Padawan. This is but the first step. We have time, Obi-Wan replied to the child. No time anymore, he thought. I sweep down and he blocks, anticipating the attack. Our blades hold, energy fields discharging as they grind against each other. 
I see my face distorted in the reflective surface of his helmet. Old, tired, nearing the end. He's holding back, testing my limits. He wants to know how time has diminished my abilities. But I'm doing the same with him, exploring whether cybernetic joints move as smoothly as muscle honed from years of training. Perhaps we are more alike than I care to think. Now he takes control, the blows coming faster and harder. I'm forced to duck, his lightsaber tracing a gleaming line down the metal wall. Sparks rain down and I blink, and it just continues. You can't win, Doth, Obi-Wan says, and he barely reacts to the jibe, knowing all too well that I am aiming to provoke him, to turn his anger against him. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. You should not have come back, Vader tells me. My resources are depleted, my body screaming with pain. I have no hope of winning this fight. He lunges at me, slash, counter slash, stab, and the air is thick with plasma discharge, lights dancing on the edge of my vision. I'm forced back, muscles burning, breath ragged. The grip of my lightsaber is slick in my hands, my ears ringing. Luke is near. I can feel him, and pray that Vader cannot. I have so much to teach the boy, so much to share. Why did I listen to Owen? Why did I wait so long? Haven't you people done enough to this family? Obi-Wan heard Owen's voice in his head. Now it's too late. There's no way to prepare Luke for what is to come. I'm leaving him with who? A smuggler and a Wookiee? Even if by some miracle they've found Leia, what can they do? They're barely more than children. The Rebellion isn't prepared for a weapon of this magnitude. No one is. And it's all my fault. I have failed Luke. I can't hold on. It's over. Unless... Ben. Luke's cry echoes across the landing bay. There he is, watching us fight. The open hatch of the freighter behind him. He knows full well that I cannot win. But he's frozen with shock. Unsure of what to do. Knowing that I won't last long. Soon, the spell will be broken, and he will come running. Those brave, defiant eyes will be cut down in a blaze of trooper fire. He needs more than a toy fighter this time. He needs to escape, to save himself, not me. Go to him. The voice in my head is louder than it has been for years. Qui-Gon, telling me to go to him, but not alive, as a ghost. Yes, master, I thought. I am an old man. Even if I tried, I could not outrun a blaster shot. Not anymore. I'll never make it to Luke's side in time to save him. This is where we came in. I am Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I am dead. I glance back at Vader and smile. I can't even begin to imagine what he makes of that. It doesn't matter anymore. All that matters is Luke. I straighten my back, closing my eyes as I raise my saber in front of me. I don't see the blade sweeping through the air. I barely even hear its whine. I imagine Luke, cross-legged in the sand, playing with a wooden corvette. I see his eyes. Then I see a scream. The saber. Pain. Ben, no! Luke cries out again, consumed with grief, seeing everything at once. The blaster in his hand. Solo taking out stormtroopers. Leia calling his name. The troopers advance. Guns raised. If Luke stays here, he will die. If he fights... He will die. I didn't let that happen before. I won't let it happen now. I won't ever let it happen. I whisper the words I spoke when he was a child. Words I know that only he will hear. Run, Luke. Run. And he does. Luke Skywalker runs and doesn't stop. And I am at his side. From this moment, he will never be alone. He will learn. He will grow. And I will guide him in every step of the way. We have all the time we need. And that's where we'll stop. That's where Obi-Wan's thoughts on this end as he becomes a Force ghost. Let me know what you thought of this. I uh, want to do more videos like this. So, yeah, I thought it was fun. And thanks for watching. Fan fiction tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video.